This conference will now be recorded. Hello and welcome to this uh, webinar number 27th by Excel Basement Private Limited. Today in this webinar, we will be discussing about power modeling for financial modeling. And uh, I hope that uh, attendees who have joined us today or the viewers who are who will be watching this video later on on our YouTube or Facebook channel uh, might be doing financial models or creating financial models at their workplace and they want to keen to know that what is power modeling uh, for financial modeling is all about and uh, today in this webinar uh, I will be covering some uh, concepts regarding the power modeling because we cannot ignore the Excel built-in utilities uh, to create our financial models more flexible, robust, clear, and simplified. So I am Raheem Zulfikar Ali. Uh, I am the founder and CEO of Excel Basement Private Limited. I am Microsoft Certified Trainer. I am Microsoft Office Specialist for Excel 2013, 16, and 19. So let's begin this webinar. Uh, the first power modeling topic is related to the circularities. And uh, if you have created financial models before, you might be came across with the issue of circular references. So when you start creating uh, the calculations with respect to the profit and loss statement, assumptions, uh, balance sheet, and linking all the numbers with each together to make your financial model dynamic, sometimes you find circular reference is one of the painful area and the issue to minimize that so i will uh, tell you that how to uh, minimize this issue of circular references when it comes to the financial models so circularities or the circular reference itself in simple words if we need to understand is that uh, circular references means when the output of an equation is also a part of the input and each of those cells contains the formulas and link with each other also there is one more issue with the circular references is that in excel terms this means that uh, the formula in a cell points to itself either directly or indirectly and financial modelers never really direct link the input cell to the output cell Definitely when we create financial models in Microsoft Excel uh, using the Excel features and when it when it comes to the accounting concepts. So we need to have a simple and clear model with the data inputs and the formulas so that it should not create a complexity. But sometimes when we refer to the concepts of circularity, we need to uh, remove that and for that for doing that. Let me take you to the demonstration part in Microsoft Excel where I have created a simple example That's not the real but that gives you an idea a mirror in a reflection that if In case in future if you find circular references in your financial model how you can um, Delete them or minimize them. Okay, so let's start With the demonstration part so here on my Microsoft Excel screen, you can see a very short and basic example here in which we will uh, try to remove the circular references from this statement. So we have sales uh, less cost of goods sold. We, we got the gross profit by just subtracting the sales amount from COGS. Then we have some expenses uh, for trying to explain you circular references I have uh, as I told you that I have created an imaginary example but this gives you an idea that in your financial models real time if you find out circular references issue then how you will uh, minimize that so we have the admin expenses which is the 25% of gross profit so it's simple b5 multiplied by 25% uh, we got the net profit definitely we need to minus the cross profit from all the expenses and we will get our net profit and um, the operating expenses cell is still blank and we need to calculate the operating expenses so so how to calculate the operating expenses it will be uh, 40 percent of net profit now as i told you that this example is not real but this example is 
uh, fruitful for you for for minimizing the circular references in your financial model so let's say if i am extracting 40 percent of net profit for for my operating expenses so b11 into 40 percent now the excel shows me some warning there there are one or more circular references where formula refers to its own cell either directly or indirectly and just few minutes back i told you a simple definition of circularities which comes in our financial models right so when i press ok button uh, definitely because each of the cells are input and output is linked together and in those cells we have already a formula to it which is dependent on other cells so it creates a circular reference for us and operating expense has not been calculated it shows nothing in here so to delete this circular references or you can say minimize this pain painful area for the financial modelers what we can do is there is a simple solution here we will go to file tab we will click on options and excel options window will appear here and we will click on formulas button okay and on the right side you will have a built-in feature and this is available in all the excel previous versions either you are using excel 2010 13 16 or 19 so what you need to do is you need to click or check mark on enable iterative calculation so you need to check mark this or enable this feature and press ok button at the end so as soon as you click on it now you can see that we have removed the circular references issues from our model so i hope you like this technique if in future when you will be creating your pnl balance sheet assumptions and input sheet all the complete financial model and if you find any circular references this is the process this is the way and this is the solution that we can uh, exclude the circular references and we can get our uh, number or the desired calculation within the model okay let's proceed to the next part after discussing the circularities uh, the next issue uh, for the power modeling very important is that formatting and i have seen a lot of clients during my visits to various clients that people from the finance background and mostly financial models being created by the qualified chartered accountants cost and management accountants um, acca people uh, finance professionals who has done their masters from various universities so all these finance and accounting background professionals day in day out they they play within the excel in environment and they create financial models for for analyzing the business needs and the strategies with respect to budgeting and forecasting now as i have seen that they do not give much importance to the formatting and it's really formatting really matters so i will share some of the powerful techniques of uh, applying the formatting areas in your financial model so that uh, you should be able to judge that in which area you need to have the input cells which will be the formatting cells which will be the formula cells and how to interlink bit between the workbooks either the external links are uh, slow down your workbooks or not so so first let me show you some formatting techniques so so the three factors of a good financial models are consist consistency efficiency and clarity definitely either you go to any of the website blog regarding the financial models you will find these words very commonly used because the financial modelers need to build their financial models with a consistent uh, approach uh, to be more flexible so that if they if in future if they change some functions or they want to modify in, in some form of data structure so they can manipulate or transform them uh, there should be an efficiency and there should be a clarity of uh, the assumptions taken in the financial models so regarding the formatting uh, the best practice say is that your inputs your hard coded data your historical values which you have and your assumptions and drivers must be in blue color okay now the font color should be in blue color either you use a light color or a dark color depends on your choice but uh, the blue colors standard defines that if any input hard coded data or the historical values you are uh, creating in your model should be in blue color 
then the calculation and references to the sh same sheet should be in black so that you can identify that these are the cells or the ranges array uh, which are in black color have some calculations and then the green color for the calculation and reference to other worksheets because we know that when we create a financial model some of the employees create notes to the account some of the employees might create a balance sheet or PL and the uh, interlink other notes to that financial statement so so there are there is no one workbook which contains the entire financial model sometimes we have to link those numbers with the other excel workbooks so you can use uh, a different color for that and that might be green as per standard and if you are using references to the separate or external links it can be anything either on your organization local area network you are taking something from that folder or file specific file from other user system so you can uh, highlight that with the red color as well so uh, if anything breaks up within the financial model you will be easily identify that what exactly the issue is going on so formatting matters a lot and that gives you a power to it next uh, a lot of time um, i have seen that people do some manual calculations uh, for the input and assumptions and uh, this is not a good practice if you are an excel user and you know the built-in features such as data validation conditional formatting if you know the form controls can be used within the developer tab use them make sure that you make your financial models more automated more flexible and more clear and don't use complex formulas just try to use the simple formulas one of the rule of the thumb says that if you have created a financial model and you have used a formula if the other person is not able to understand your formula within 90 seconds so your financial model is not very much efficient and effective so this means that rule of thumb says your financial model functions or formula should be able to understand to the other users easily okay so you need to keep the things very simple and the third aspect of this power modeling is that we need to use scenarios and the features very sensibly with respect to other functions uh, available in the microsoft excel okay so one of the basic technique is that when business creates the finance when when the person creates a financial model it's an accounting or finance background person so they, we we have generally more than one business scenarios and we try to inculcate different scenarios within one financial model so we need a strategy that if i click on any of the button the scenario will change and and model gives me a different numbers reflection according to that selection so we need to create that kind of interface so most of the advanced users come up with creating an interface and use the visual basic for application some of the macros they create some buttons to it and they just click on it and then automatically that situation or scenario applied on the financial model but sometimes as a normal intermediate or advanced excel user we can also do with with some common sense and common techniques uh, available in microsoft excel and and i will tell you one of these in this webinar uh, right shortly after this slide next thing is if you know that if you know the feature of what if analysis we have goal seek we have data table we have scenario manager we have uh, uh, solver as well so a lot can be done in this uh, feature using what if analysis with respect to our financial models the third way is that uh, try to use the developer tab form controls and create buttons on your financial model so it will look neat and nice and most of the times senior managers and the head of departments want an interactive financial models so for creating an interactive financial model we need a power uh, of powerful features of microsoft excel to be applied on that model not just a very simple model and trying to just uh, inputting the numbers in, inside the cells that will not uh, make your model flexible and and uh, dynamic uh, the last technique is that using you can use text functions to make dynamic headings whenever there the year is changed the month is changed or you are creating a financial model week wise so you should not be changing all the headings headers and footers or any other kind of stuff uh, manually because we know that with the passage of time our financial model grows 
and uh, it has a lot of years and numbers into it so we don't want to create manual inputs everywhere okay so try to create dynamic heading headings using the text functions date and time functions or index match and lookup functions okay so let's go to the uh, practical side demonstration side and now you can see my excel screen here so i have a small statement here again and uh, we have uh, actual and the forecast next five years forecast here and we have three different scenarios so in this statement i just want to tell you that how smartly we can create a financial model flexible by adding some built-in features available in microsoft excel okay so now here the company has three different scenarios a base scenario best scenario and the worst scenario and they have allocated a different percentages for the next five years according to their assumptions their their market assumptions and uh, what we are required is we need to place the percentages here on the yellow highlighted cells which is which represent the sales growth of every year and and for the next five years so if the company is working on the base scenario they will increase their growth by seven percent if the company is uh, doing their best they, they will grow by 12 percent every year and if the company is not doing their best if they are in the worst situation just like covid or any other external matters or assumptions so they will move towards the fourth four percentage per year and they will grow like that so uh, below that we have a, a very small income statement and uh, definitely when we put the percentages here because the formulas are linked with each other cells so the impact will definitely you will show at the below of this statement so very quickly what i will do is i will apply a function uh, so that if i change the situation of of that different scenario that percentage would drive out from from the cell and that will place on this raw number 11 which is the sales growth percentage okay so i will be using the choose function and the first function argument within the choose function is the index number which always be a positive number so i have a separate cell for that in which you can see a number one is has been as, as an input cell now uh, the the value one will be the my first scenario which is the base scenario for the organization value two will be the second scenario which is the best scenario for the organization and the value three will be the third scenario which is the worst situation and uh, if you are an intermediate user definitely you know about the relative and absolute references so make sure that you don't make a mistake uh, you need to decide that which cells to make fix absolute and which cells to remain relative i will just copy this functions toward the right side by pressing Control r now as you can see that instead of one if the company says we will be performing best for the next five years so what will be our growth for the pnl so when i write two in the cell the percentage 12 will be applied here by the help of choose function and our pnl shows the reflection for the next five years so that what will be the numbers if we go with the 12 percent growth every year and if we go for the worst scenario i can write three here and my model changes so this is how you start thinking about the simplicity uh, having multiple business scenarios and how you can add to your financial model more to it what smart work we can do here is we can go to developer tab and here from insert option uh, we, we will be inserting a combo box so i will just drag and drop this combo box and i will create a filter menu filter uh, list kind of thing and uh, i need to fill this first so what we need to do is we will right click on this object and here on this contextual menu there is a last option which is called format control i will click on format control and in the last tab of control uh, first i need to define the input range so input range means when i open this filter uh, with list so we need to define a list here so the input range will be b6 to b8 the names of three different business scenarios for the sales growth base best and worst okay and then we need to link this object with a cell so i will choose c5 to be linked with this drop down menu okay and i will press ok button so now as you can see that there are three names appear in the list base best and worst when i click on base it will generate one 
and the choose function will pick the first percentage with represent the base sales growth for that organization when i again open this drop down menu i will select the best i will click on best it will generate two and the choose function will choose the second scenario for the sales growth so now what i can do is once i have finished making this drop down list i can just place it on top of that cell and now when i choose a different situation you can see that the percentages are changing and the percentages are changing and my financial model is being changing with different values so this is how you make your financial model more flexible clarity and simple so that other user from the rule of thumb within 90 seconds the other user can easily understand these kind of logics financial models at this very same time can be created complex but we don't need to create complex financial models okay okay coming back to the next part it's very important to protect your data because when it comes to the financial models the business numbers are the sensitive part and we don't want that other users should uh, get all those numbers and most of the times what we do we do not send the entire excel workbook entire financial model to the other colleague uh, what what is relevant we just copy that we create a PDF file and we send it through Outlook or any other application of emailing. So every time we don't give our complete financial model because it can be reverse engineered by someone else and the numbers and the logics can be exposed. So organizations also want to protect your work and specific to the power modeling in Microsoft Excel, we have two functionalities available with respect to the security, which is we can protect the sheet and we can protect the workbook and when it com comes to the protecting the worksheet we can protect the cells and we can also use to protect our data validation list or conditional formatting in the business scenarios so in this webinar i am not specifically teaching how to apply the protection but as a part of webinar uh, it's very important you should understand that your financial model should apply all the protecting features available with respect to Microsoft Excel. And when it comes to the other applications, now we have some more other applications available for creating the financial models. And we have also third party add-ins available which can be downloaded either free or paid. And that can be integrated with the, uh, with the Excel. As a, as a separate add-in and you can use their functionalities and I will tell you uh, shortly that what kind of uh, add-ins regarding the financial models are available but on this specific part we need to also make sure that our financial models are protected right away and we should not forget the password as well because it will create a lot of pain when you have created your whole financial model and at the end you protect with a password and you forget that password okay so apply the protection tools available in Microsoft Excel. Next, uh, there are four key points which I want to add for this webinar and these are very important and I want to explain you one by one. So the first point says uh, for, for power tips for the financial models. Number one is clarify the business problem and intended goal. What this means. See, you need to understand what problem is this financial model designed to solve who are the end users what are the users supposed to do with this model these are the three questions you need to ask yourself and your inline managers before creating your financial models so which kind of problem this financial model will be solving and the end users who will be using this later on the second point is try to keep the model as simple as possible now this means what is the minimum number of inputs and output required to build a useful model remember that the more assumptions a model has the more complex it becomes and if you have a lot of assumptions within the financial model you need to create a separate sheet for that and you should be linking with other uh, items re with respect to your pnl balance sheet or any other thing like cash flows okay number three plan your model structure it's very important plan how the inputs processing and the outputs will be laid out try to keep all your inputs in one place as i told you and as much as possible in order to have a quick overview of all the inputs and 
other inputs on the model and uh, we know that sometimes our financial models are interlinked with the other excel workbooks as well so we need to take care of that and we need to identify that how the structure has been designed for that either we are creating very complex or, or a simple financial models for example uh, uh, during my job experience at, at one of the bank in pakistan i used to create financial models for for the branches and that was actual versus budget so we have created all these uh, 1400 uh, branches models uh, in microsoft excel and we used to apply all the power modeling features available within the excel with respect to protection with respect to the features like uh, conditional formatting with respect to the to the entire input cells to the output cells what will be the assumptions with within the different sheets just like uh, we take kybor rates uh, we take libor rates we take money market rates and we take all those percentages and assumptions within our financial models with respect to the pakistani domains right so so we need to think all of that uh, as a 360 degree the last part is protect the data integrity and then that's very important so utilize the excel tools to protect data integrity including as i told you all the features which are relevant for your financial model okay and that's very important part now let's come to the uh, last section of our today's webinar is the uh, learning resources which are available for if you are accounting and finance background and you want to pursue with respect to the financial model so one of the website which is called model of uh, the model of is is a website for all the accounting and financial back, background people or the professionals and students uh, who uh, what they what this website does is uh, and annually they have a competition regarding the financial modeling and all from all around the world uh, the accounting and finance background professionals registered themselves they have three rounds to complete each year and uh, this year in 2020 uh, this competition will be available in the month of november where you can have a lot of uh, chances to win the cash prizes global rankings and certifications and, and a lot of resources as well okay so after the webinar you can visit this website as well uh, if you want to learn or have more resources regarding a different kind of uh, financial models and remember that one very important key point uh, the financial models for the banks the financial models for the hospitals financial models for the airline industries financial models for the manufacturing companies will be different because we know that every organization creates profit and loss statement in the balance sheet but the line items their practices their business processes and their strategies are different as compared to the banks versus the airports so it's very important that if you are an accounting and finance background person it's also important that which industry you belongs to either you belongs to the oil and gas sector either you belongs to the construction side either you are a professional within a bank so you need to pursue that kind of financial model uh, practices according to your professionals okay so this is one of the website f1f9.com slash resources where you can download um, a lot of uh, good documents regarding different sectors and uh, and financial model tips and tricks and also you can sign up for free 31 days better financial modeling so if you are an accounting professional background you need to learn financial modeling so you can have this access to 31 days free course uh, just go to this website sign up for this course and uh, learn the financial modeling and it's also inculcate the fast modeling standard and i will tell you what is fast standard for the financial models one more website which is called the plumsolutions.com.au this is australian based website daniel uh, is, is the key author uh, and she has written a few books on financial modeling as well so if you want to go I recommend to visit her website also and you can find seven days of financial modeling absolutely free which is the mini course but her regular courses regarding the financial modelings are also very awesome and you can learn, learn a lot okay so before ending the webinar I would like to tell you some of the links here so I have opened the model of website as you can see on my screen here and uh, later on you can register yourself according to the subscription okay there are different subscription there are world championships uh, excel and bi training model of master classes this this is a very best platform for all the financial modelers and accounting professionals either you are a ca acca uh, icma ic icaw 
if you know if you have are working in finance or regarding to it uh, you can join this platform as well uh, we have one more platform uh, which is cfi and if you want to pursue as a financial analyst definitely they have different courses on it um, and you can select that but with respect to your industry okay uh, as i told you about f1 and f9 there are a lot of resources available depending on which um, segment you are working on either you are working on capitalism oil and gas industry or you are working on agile modeling model optimizations these are the techniques you want to learn either you are working as a business analyst financial business analyst or finance finance executive in any organization so you should come with it uh, mo in most of the financial models and one of the best practice is regarding the fast standard now what does fast means f means flexible a means appropriate s means structured and t means transparent so if you go to this website fast dash standard dot org org on in this resources you will find a lot of resources where you will find principles for good spreadsheet practice fast standard brochure okay and you can find a lot of articles available uh, pdf books available on their website you can download them so this is all about regarding the power modeling um, in for financial modeling i uh, if you have joined late this webinar you can watch this later on a recording will be available on our youtube channel excel basement i would like to have your questions now thank you so much for atten attending the webinar